Welcome everyone. So thank you for being here. Uh, the agenda for today is actually, it's part of a, it's a third session of a five session series. Actually, we started with three sessions and right now we have expanded to five sessions, which is breaking the cycle of trauma. And there are five modules that we're, we're working on. Two of them we did. We worked about understanding, knowing trauma. Second one was legacy burdens, so things that you brought from your past life uh, or from your grandparents or environment. Today, we are going to focus on pregnancy, so when your mom was waiting with you and the birth. Uh, and then in the next two sessions, we are going to talk about infancy, which is probably one of the most critical year where we form many, many belief systems that then play out rest of the life, which is zero to six, because the conscious mind is not built. And so what happens around us plays a big role later, and we pick up a lot of traumas at that age. And then adolescence, which is also a very complex period where there's a lot of hormonal changes, but then there is, you know, the intimacy, but at the same time, there's a pressure about career and studies, which have probably one of the most complex per, uh, period for people to go through and uh, and that will conclude our five session series so let's go into the topic of today uh, this is breaking the cycle with with, with healing uh, pregnancy and and birth now if you're coming for the first time uh, into this session the purpose of the session is all the topic of the day is that it basically creates like a, a provokes your deep subconscious thought patterns that then give trailheads or breadcrumbs for your mind. And we will go into group exercise that brings out something that needs your attention. And because you can repeat this again and again, so you can always work on it so that you can clear that part from your from your awareness and consciousness. So today we'll go in into those. So we, what we are going to do is we were going to get into a bit about uh, what means uh, trauma. So for if you have been here before, it's a repeat, but it's important. And also I'll share about a roadmap of healing your trauma. This comes from, of course, my own experience and working with thousand people, what I've seen work. Uh, Second, we will get then into a place of building resources, building a safe place, and then work and connect to the time of conception, pregnancy, and birth, and heal that part. And then we will use sound to also heal the part of pregnancy, which means when you were in your mother's womb, and the birth, because in the sound, sound uh, or biofield tuning, we can find that places and work on that. And we are going to do it together. And then we will open up for any Q&A, any questions or anything that comes up. Okay. Now let's get into trauma. So trauma, there are two definitions which are probably in my view the best. They come from a guy called Gabe Mate and Basil van der Kork. These are people that have spent decades almost four decades each into this work. And so Gabor Mate talks about trauma as a wound that hardens your physiological and, and that interferes with your ability to grow and develop. It is the pain you, and now you are acting out of the pain. So it's a pain you went through at the time. And currently, what you are doing is acting from that point of pain. So it's not what happens to you, but what happens inside of you as a result of what happened to you. So it's how your inner system copes with that event or series of events. Now, Bessel van der Kolk is a, is, has spent all his professional life uh, studying how children and adults adapt to traumatic experiences book which is probably one of the masterpiece called Body Keeps Score, is a gem. If you have tried to understand deeply 
the subject of how trauma impact our lives. And he explains that events that happen in our lifetime, especially early childhood, leave us stuck in a stage of helplessness and terror. And hence we are always perceiving the world from that place. So that five year, the seven year, the two year, or the newborn that goes through that place of whatever it felt at that time, all our world is now perceived from those lenses for the rest of the life till we go back and heal. Now, this brings to me a little bit about what can you do about that. Now, this is a roadmap that I have built from actually my own experience, plus also working with lots of people and seeing how this can work the best and the simplest. And so it's, it, there are three stages I talk about. One is knowing. I think it's very important, especially for your intellectual part of your mind, to understand trauma itself. It's a vast subject, it's complex, but it's, there are four names that I highly recommend to read about. Uh, Gabba Mate I mentioned. Richard Schwartz, he's created a, a system called IFS, Internal Family System. We use that in our uh, these sessions. Uh, we always use IFS, part of IFS meditation. Bessel van der Kock, I talked about that. I think it's good to uh, read about him. And Peter Levine, which talks much more about somatic, which means trauma stored in the body and how you can work around that. So my first recommendation always is to study, read, understand, research. You don't have to do courses. If you want to, you can, but you don't have to. Books are the best and the cheapest form of understanding. And also these people have lots of stuff on YouTube. Uh, Gabor Mate recently came out with a movie as well, Wisdom of Trauma, which is a good resource. The second thing is you decide that I will work on releasing my trauma. And it's a very conscious decision. It's a, it's a commitment of yourself on a path. And as you commit, you, your system will guide you. The only thing I recommend is always to have a mentor or a guide to support you. Uh, this can be anyone, it can be a friend, but a friend which doesn't judge you, but friends which hold your hand. Uh, family members can become complex uh, many times because they are part of the story. So it's difficult to bring them as your mentors or guides, but it must be somebody which is neutral and a, a little bit outside of your system so it can hold you. Because when you go through the journey of healing trauma, you will need support. And resource yourself well. Uh, and we will do a bit of resourcing activity today. But anything, any practice, any uh, daily routine, meditation, yoga, whatever works for you, it's going to help you because that's part of the process and helps you go through those difficult times when you are working through the trauma. And the last thing which I uh, I always advocate is uh, have a have a purpose. Define your North Star, your, your vision of yourself. Now, this is like light that takes you when you go through the tunnel. Because when you will process your traumas, the processing itself is not painful, but you need that light to pull you out of it, to give you a motivation to say, I will move through this uh, no matter what. And this helps to the step number two, which is when you commit, you'll have a lot of resistance to go forward, but having a North Star or purpose or a mission is, is, is something that will absolutely help you. And I, and all three of them have equal importance. I don't say do this and not that, but in my experience, having the three um, are absolutely mandatory. The tools or the processes, you can apply anything. We are going to apply some here, but there are so many tools and processes available. It doesn't matter too much. Some of them are more effective in certain conditions than others, but you will be guided. That's why I say step number two is that once you commit, you get guided 
you op it opens a door and you go walk through one and you walk through second and you walk through third. So I highly recommend to have these three things in place. Now let's get into the topic. Now to get into depth in understanding, I, I think we have a few questions that uh, that are going to come up. And some of them you may have no conscious awareness of. Or you may have heard about them. They could be stories that are told to you uh, about or came through with other, other means like in dreams or in other sessions that you could have done with your therapist. And the questions are at every stage. So how were you conceived? Were you wanted or not? What was going on in the life of your father or mother at that time? Was there stress for either of them or for both? How was your mother's pregnancy? Did she go through any extreme stress during that pregnancy? What she went through is likely in your consciousness too. How was your reception into the world? What were your parents talking about when you were born? What were nurses, if there are nurses in the world, saying around you? Was there any complexity at the time of your birth? Separation from mother. Not being breastfed. Are there any words that you heard that makes you feel not worthy, guilty, or not feel wonderful or proud of yourself? From the moment you're conceived, you are aware of everything around you. Your mother's feelings and beliefs are often brought to you in the womb. You can feel her traumatic thoughts, feelings of fears and other stress. Let's start to work on something that you could be holding from conception to birth. Now we will begin by bringing you to a safe place and bringing you some resources so that even if you get, feel overwhelmed, you can use them in this process or in the process afterwards. I want to start by sharing a breathing technique that if you don't use already, it's very useful, especially if you feel overwhelmed. It's called psychological sigh. This comes from the lab of Huberman, if you haven't heard about that. And, and the pattern is very simple. It's a pattern of breathing in two inhales through your nose that is followed by an extended exhale from your mouth. So we are going to try it together. So you inhale twice from your nose, so and then you breathe out. So we can try. Okay, one more time. Breathe in twice to your nose. This helps to break the pattern if you are overwhelmed or feel stress. And you can do it at any time, in any place, any moment, if you feel overwhelmed. Now I want you to Close your eyes and focus on your breathing. 
just a normal breathing. Going in and out of your heart. Breathing a little slower and deeper. Imagine a place where you feel completely safe. A place you have been to, or a place in your imagination. Imagine this place in as much detail as possible. Where are you? What do you see? What time of day and what time of year is it? Is it warm or cold? What do you hear? What can you smell? What feeling you have in this place. How does your body react in this safe place? could make this place even more safer. Make that possible. What can make this place even more safer? Please give a name to this place. And remind yourself that you can go there at any time. It's a place where you feel safe. Now imagine a secure container or a vault where you can put any distressing material. It can be big and stable with a lock which can be opened only by you. It can be a box, a chest, a jar, a pot. Use your imagination to create the wall, the vault. Remind yourself that at any time today, 
during the process. You can bring in the vault to store the things that create too much psychological reaction. It is kept safe in the vault till you wish to open it and work on it and process it. Now just settle in, see what is needed by your body to be comfortable, to be soft, to feel settled. You can keep your eyes closed. Take a few breaths into your heart. And let your body settle into a comfortable, easy position. Your arms and hands, your feet, your legs, rest peacefully and feel wonderful, totally supported. As you breathe deeply, exhale and simply let go. Allow the muscles of your face to soften. Feel your eyelids get heavy. Just allow them to soften. so safe and peaceful, knowing that you are in charge and that you are in control. Imagine now if you would like to simply float down to your deepest level of relaxation floating and drifting, safe and comfortable. Perhaps floating down on a feather, soft cloud or a cushion of air, drifting, dreaming, Drifting all the way down to your deepest possible level of relaxation. Relaxing now. Still deeper and deeper. Imagine you're standing and in front of you is your future life in a straight line and behind of you is your past. And imagine you're floating up into the air and moving back in your timeline. As you float back, you can see your life go past, the life you have already lived. And as you keep moving back, arrive to the time of your birth. Keep moving back into the timeline, floating above. The 
seeing the time of your being in your mother's womb. And reaching to the point of your conception. Now focus your attention to the place of your heart. And visualize going down into Mother Earth, deep into Mother Earth. And visualize bringing up the energy from Mother Earth through your feet. into your body. Opening up the root chakra at the base of your spine, sending energy to it. And then going to the second center in your belly, opening it up, sending energy to it. Then to the third center, the solar plexus, opening it up, sending energy to that. Then moving up to your heart center, opening it up, sending energy to that. And to the fifth center, middle of your throat, opening it and sending energy to that. Then moving to the sixth center, which is third eye, opening it up and sending energy to that. And to the top of your head, to the crown center, opening it up and sending energy to it. And then continue to move up above and beyond. Keep moving the energy up towards the heavens. until you reach this place of white, beautiful light. Creator of all that is, it is commanded that the love is sent to this person just conceived. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It is done. Now witness the Creator's unconditional love surrounding the baby, the parents. Witness love filling the womb and enveloping the fetus and simply eliminating all toxins, limiting beliefs and negative emotions. Creator of all that is, it is commanded that love be sent to this person as baby in the womb. Thank you, 
Thank you. Thank you. It is done. Now witness the Creator's unconditional love surrounding the baby and the mother. Witness love filling the womb. Developing the baby and the mother. And simply eliminating all tax toxins, limiting beliefs and negative emotions. Now float back to the time of birth and witness what you see. <laughs> Creator of all that is, it is commanded that love be sent to this little baby that is just born. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, it is done. Now witness the Creator's unconditional love surrounding the baby and the mother. Witness the baby being protected. And the love eliminates all toxins, limited beliefs and negative emotions. Now start to float back towards the current moment. Going back to now. Bringing with you the awareness of what you witness. and what you healed. Feels complete. Just follow your breath back. And you can slowly begin to open your eyes. Coming back to the present moment. And take a moment to write any key messages that you witnessed.
while we prepare for the next. We are going to start with the sound healing, so I will guide you through the process. So the way it works is you can rest in a comfortable position, you can sit or lie down, whatever makes you comfortable. So we will start with opening the two centers, so one above the head and below the feet to open up the field. And then I will today go into a place of when you are in the mother's womb and to the time of birth, which is about six feet into your peri periphery, so on the either side of the body. And uh, there are two things that are important to note. One is a breathing. So the breathing here is specific. So you breathe through your nose in. And then, so you imagine the breath is coming from top of your head and fill up, filling up your belly, literally. And then you breathe out from your mouth as if you're passing energy into your feet, through your feet into the Mother Earth. It's always like that. So you basically are opening the channel inside you. So now you don't need to keep breathing all the time other or else you will hyperventilate so you breathe when i breathe it's always to move energy the second thing is i'm going to mention to you well i am at the time of conception in the middle of the uh the, the pregnancy or toward the end of the pregnancy if anything comes up i will just make a comment if you have heard something just connect to that. If you came to that connection in this session before, you just connect to it. You don't have to do anything. Just connect to that memory or that image or even the feeling that came up and I will always clean it and we'll keep moving like that, okay? Till we come to a place where we will release and I will keep talking to you. So just relax, follow that. Now you will hear tuning fork sound from time to time, if you do not feel well or you don't feel good, you can always uh, mute yourself uh, or lower the volume. Here we go. So before we start, I just want you to see if you can create a wish for yourself from what you saw, what you want. Just take a moment. So we always start below the feet. So I'm going to stop there and open the center which is below your feet. And you follow me for the breathing. 
Otherwise, you relax. So I'm about one foot below your feet. The tuning fork is pointing toward your feet, so opening the challenge channel, which is your backbone, to the top of the head. So there's a lot of heaviness. You can feel that. Not surprising, we just open a lot of things up. So it's so just take a breath. Take a breath. Take another breath. Take a breath. So I've grounded you. We'll move to the top of the head, which is the center of it. It's also the connection to divine. The first one was connection to Mother Earth. So I'm one feet above your head. I'm now pointing the tuning fork. toward your head. So this making a link from the top of your head into the feet. This one better. Take a breath. Okay, so there's a resistance. I'm going to use another chilling fork to open the resistance. So you may not hear anything, but I'm just opening up. Take a breath. Take a breath.
So I'm going to start on your heart center. So let's start on the left side. And we'll be about six feet on the left side. And we'll go to the time when you are in your mother's womb. And if something comes up, I will tell you. So three months into pregnancy, there is grief. <sighs> if nothing comes up, it's okay as well. Sometimes we are not in awareness. The grief that mother was going through. Take a breath and go to anything you heard at the time of your birth. If there was complication, if you heard of any story that you heard or witnessed or came in your awareness, just go there. The time of your birth. And see if you can connect to your mom. Take her name in your mind and send love to her. Nice, clear away whatever is at new awareness. The time of your birth. So I'm at the point of your, from your mother's side. So if you've, you've heard things about your mother, her legacy, so she's gone through difficulty in our lives, just connect to that and send love to that, to her. So this is a part 
where you inherited from your mother's energy field somewhere there and there's a lot which is coming up there so take a breath Is anything in your awareness about your mother's life? You send love to her. Is there anything that came up at the time of your conception with your mom? What she was going through at the time? Just bring that up. If you or your mom felt the pain of the world, just bring it to your awareness. Then take a breath and sit and do <sighs> like a release. Sometimes we hold the world pain in our heart. <sighs> or your mother did. Take a breath. So I'm preparing to release whatever has come up.
Okay. Now we'll allow the body to continue the process for the next 48, 72 hours. and set out the body in cuckoo of a beautiful frequency. Yeah, take some time, take some quick moments. We'll be back in one week, coming for Healing the Infancy. And you're always welcome to join the WhatsApp or Telegram group. Just put the link. And one of the practice that I recommend, which some of you probably who have been here before, you can do that. I will put these resources into the into the WhatsApp group or Telegram group of doing four days of consecutive writing. This is a very powerful exercise. Whenever you get stuck in something, it's part of the journey of trauma healing.